Thank you, everyone. I'm happy to be here to share with you about uh, something happened in China. And my uh, speech will be two parts. First part is activity uh, for the synesthesia. And second part, shortly, is about my study. And you can see that uh, I, I was a uh, kind of a, a, a studio is talking about synesthesia, mainly is what is synesthesia and life, and what we can be changed through this. So I have shared some uh, experience and uh, what we learned in this uh, WeChat, I would say a short article about that. And for example, and I learned from Maria Jose, is about uh, uh, people's speech about the name, about the voice can be reflected to the uh, color and textures and learn from uh, Christina is about the bird sound. And before I never noticed of this. And find, I, I, I find, that, yes, if I follow this way, there's something figure out from my, from my mind. And in the cabin is crowded, people are playing cards, it's noisy, really noisy. But if I'm thinking about what kind of color and what kind of shape will be. Suddenly I found something is amazing. I found something is like a music, something like that. Really I want to record it, just for, for example. And uh, in, in my studio, I start to with interview with important people around us. <laughs> and uh, to uh, a, a simple wording and through some simple question to understand something very deep. I think this is very efficient rather than uh, read a paper. And uh, this is a history I did since 2009 with uh, different art, creativity uh, in the museum and university. And this is one we started did last year uh, for the, uh, uh, for the uh, conference uh, 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 from the different city. In fact, it's a small lectures, lectures with, uh, with Malia, with all the people, and if not be here, I can be with their work to share with them. And uh, in, in that area is the, my son's school, so I start to, uh, by working with the teacher, to have a, a synesthesia in art education. And the result is something quite interesting that through some exercises, uh, seem to be the students become quite clever. They are really open the mind. So anyway, we, we continue with this way. And, and we also have some exhibitions. You can see uh, some of our uh, works, like uh, Christina's work, your work is here. <laughs> and in fact, I have a job in Airbus industry. So in this job, and I think if I can link it with the job with synesthesia creativity, why not? So during a one year, I start with HR to, to dealing with them. And in fact, I have a two uh, workshop, very successful. And I joined Airbus Discovery Day, including different activities. So mainly I'm focused on video, uh, audio, and kinetic, what is uh, mixed together and make people uh, happy and fun. And later on, can we think in something in our job to improvement in different uh, uh, business streamline? So talking about synesthesia, I want to say that in China, maybe people say synesthesia is, is, is not a matter because more or less we, we have that. So this is a general <laughs> impression. And what is synesthesia in China? First is Lian Jue. Lian, you can see from from this part, from this part is ears, and from this part is something like uh, a wise linking together, and this is about uh, 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 lian is means mostly is about uh, uh, linking something together. And second, jue jue means you suddenly realize you see or something. What will happen is that in the middle is like this. This is like something like. You, you get from the university a lot of things, a powder or different things. And, and you digest by your teeth. This is like your teeth, right? Like teeth, digest. And after, you are under a roof, maybe in the house, maybe in your body, okay? And then 
you see it. So this is a called jue, means you really can perceive or you know this. So this is a typical Chinese uh, uh, language. So Chinese language is something that is like a video, very video, a very cross-sensory. And uh, another example is not video, it's audio. And in China, people saying the word by ah, 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 ah. Only, only the, the four, four kind of sound. And sometimes this is really linking with the, the meaning. For example, if you're in a car, it's really like, like that. You say, Dian Bo. If you, if you want to raise your head, you can, Chao Shou. No, Chao, Chao Shou. No, Chao Shou. You must be like that, and must be raise your head. So this is uh, constantly together. So this is <laughs> in, the, in the language. And in the traditional Chinese art, it is mentioned uh, several things. And this is art principle is, is quite uh, similar, like, uh, like uh, synesthesia, cross-sensory uh, imagery in the music with the music involvement. And, and two years ago in Spain, I already did this in a speech. So first thing is about this one. Oh, what's happened? is harmony in beauty. This is a principle. Everything should be harmony in beauty. And second thing is seeing, seeing and the behind, one after the other. This is one of the principle. That means you present something, should be not to be always the same time, but one after the other. But that is linked to give people a hint. And finally, is the spirit atmosphere in rhythm with emotion. At that time, really, the people is say, I like that. Really, I liked it. I, the people is really in the mood of this. Maybe a little bit uh, uh, similar like a mi uh, mirror touch. I'm not sure. <laughs> so you can see all these things is in Chinese character, choreographic, Poetry, music, painting, garden design, they all follow such kind of principle. It's like kind of synesthetic thinking in Chinese history. So concerning my job, my work is mainly is how to transfer a music into a visual art. And as an artist, I use synesthetic experience as a major part of my, my art language. And two years ago, I already presented synesthetic Art, music synesthesia fish fish boom and spider chart spider chart uh, in the in the symposium and later on these years I'm trying to use this work in the uh, music a large part of music how we can do that the conclusion is that through this methodology I can have a music space synesthesia hyperstructure so I give you one example. Okay, anyway, I'll give you uh, some explanation. So th this music is following music, it's traditional Chinese music. It seemed to be like 2000 years already existing. But the version I think is uh, around uh, 4000 4, years ago is about the music. So I I'm going to uh, paint it, 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 this music out. So you can see when I work out uh, the music and the music different part and my perspective uh, is reflect in the music and is something already linked together. This is part two. And see, there was a part three, it's like that. That in the music, you know, uh, there was a different kind of texture and in the space and also the movement is different, totally different and make the music is uh, quite interesting. Sounds interesting and this is more dynamic and this is more falling down and this is uh, is it running? And this is a finish, uh, go up and down. So I just want to introduce a little bit about this fishbowl analysis. One, you listen to music and for your body and you can have uh, uh, emotion, you have 
during of uh, the speed, you have uh, brightness or darkness, uh, condensity, space, different kind of things, all is listed here. And for this, for example, like first part, I found that um, the green, uh, the, the red part is something always, always different. But there was another part is re relevantly quite constant, like uh, the taste, like uh, the general color. And this color is a little bit different because uh, there was a cultural image for me, the water is blue. But in fact, this, uh, this music is like a brown with texture is more about this. And after this exercise, I made it into a figure to measure myself. The feeling is strong or not strong, zero to 10. Okay. And this is a spider chart I measure in a different way. And follow this. I make all the exercises of this nine part all together, okay? And through this, I get more or less the idea and what is seen on my mind is make it very, very clear. And because something is already, I already see on my mind, so I try to find in a way of painting by this, figure out where it is in the draft because I know more, so I found the draft in a very short time, I can find what I need and start this painting. And this is the result. But it's not finished. If you can see the music, part, part of music is about the taste, texture, and uh, this is quite consistent. Another part is change a lot. So I figure out this uh, with a figure and into a kind of a, uh, a, kind of a uh, diagram. And through this, you can see something is changing. Something is constant. Then I found really the hyperstructure is like this. It's like a tube. It's like in a tube. And something consistent is like a tube. But in the tube, something is always, always changing. Sometimes fast, the move, and the movement. So this is a one thing. Second example, of course, there was a many examples. Some I want to talk about bolero, because this music is very good for the synesthesia exercise, I want to say. So quickly explain to you, and you, I think probably you already know this music. The music is totally different part, but quite similar. This is like a melody one, one, two, two, one, one, two, two, but follow the basic pattern is same. So how to transfer this into a music? So this is what I learned. And, if, and something you can find there was a, a different things. First approach to me is a very special two characters. First is about the different instrument. Up here, at the beginning, is flute, clarinet, something like that. Then group, group, group together and become orchestra. And for the sound is smaller sound, a vo volume is small, and after is louder, 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 become a louder. So just this is a one character. So all these things can reflect something big, something small, and the color is different. Color, temperature is different. And the second things you can find, because this is two melody, and one melody is a little bit aggressive. Another melody is compared with, more, more, okay, mostly is soft. So one is like a gigi, another maybe is like a buba. So this is one of the, character. And this is my inf in interpretation. And in UK, team is another version. Very good, you can see. But through this, you can see my version and t uh, team's version have something in, in, in common. So that is something that I think is very interesting that if musicians can work together and have a case study for one thing and we can have, have some something in conclusion, this is very, for me, is very interesting. So last part is about application. Of course, such kind of idea can use in the different kind of art, new media, performance, even a fashion show, a opera, this is for sure. But this is, a, for me, is a fundamental, is a basic things. 
And second thing, to use this in the design, input is the general in information you have, and output is a good design. In, in important things is to find the agreement, ag uh, agreeable, agreeable elements in the system. This is very important to identify what is agreeable element. I just give you an example. One is Gigi, another is, is, is Booba. So Gigi is more this system. Booba is another system. But when you show to your customers, you must show in one system, not to the same system. The elements should be same, but later you can change. But you change, you should change everything. So in my conclusion, and uh, Synesthesia is not just a gift to us to see the world differently. It brings us with more creative thinking to improve cross-sensory harmony in applications, like in art, education, and design. Eventually, it will change our life in a positive way. Thank you. <laughs>